Hi everybody, another Solid Student tutorial, this time we're looking at lofts. Last week I got a comment on my import curve video asking how to create tapered curved geometry, which is a great way to introduce the loft function. Um, lofts allow you to create some very complex geometry at the expense of a lot of setup time, since they use a lot of sketches that must intersect one another in uh, some way. Um, if you like, it's a lot more complicated version of the sweep tool, but where with sweep you have one profile and a path which you sweep it along, um, with Loft, SolidWorks takes a bunch of sketches um, which you use as profiles or sections through a component you want to make and it adds material between them. Um, and then you need another couple of sketches uh, to act as these things called guide curves, which are sketches that dictate exactly how the profile cross-section changes from one of your sketches that you make to another. So what we've got here are four sketches. We have two sketches that are profile sketches, um, one, I know, 10 centimeters and one uh, eight centimeters wide at 90 degrees to it um, and you've got two sketches here for the guide curves to turn the profile through that 90 degrees the guide curves intersect both profiles and it's a good idea to make use of the pierce sketch relation at this point using the loft tool and selecting the two profile sketches you can see that SolidWorks simply adds material directly between the two profiles um, selecting the guide curves in succession makes that direct extrusion follow the curve profile around the corner a quick use of the shell command turns this quick demo into the curve pipe that I was talking about. This is a very simple use of the loft command, but really its use is limited only by how complex you want to make something. While very powerful, it also requires a lot of step time in terms of sketches. Um, and any complicated shape, or the more complicated you get, rather, the more sketches you're going to need, not only just for profile sections, but also for guide curves going between those sections. Uh, that's about it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.